Today we're going to talk about uh, doing some mending with this darning loom that we have from Katrinkles. It comes in two sizes. I'm going to be using the small size today. Um, the larger size comes with three different sizes of heddle. Um, the smaller one comes with just one size and it's perfect for doing small holes, um, darning the heels and toes of socks, anything like that. And it's got our little logo on the back. It comes with a darning needle and an elastic to hold um, everything together. And this is called a heddle. So the heddle is what we're going to use to create our weaving. And then we also have uh, this booklet of instructions, which is pretty, pretty helpful. Um, so to start, um, I just want to show you, I've actually done a similar type of woven patch for the thumb of this uh, mitten. Uh, a thumb would be a really tricky uh, spot to use a darning loom on, so I had to do that kind of uh, freehand. Um, but I have this other hole in my mittens, um, kind of a larger hole in a more conspicuous spot. So I'm going to try to use this loom. Uh, to patch this hole and I've actually never used the darning loop before so this is going to be a, a learning experience for me too. So I'm using a cotton embroidery floss because that's the closest color match that I had but I would suggest using whatever fiber is closest to uh, the piece that you're mending so wool would be great for this too. Um, so to get this little loom inside we want to have this flat end up at the very top of the piece. And this might take a little bit of wiggling around, um, but we want it to be nice and flat at the very top. And this is gonna hold everything flat so that we have a nice flat surface to work on. So once you have that piece nice and straight, and you wanna center it kind of over your hole. Okay, so it's nice and centered there. I'm going to place my heddle on that flat end and I'm gonna put my elastic around it. So there's a couple of little notches at the side of the heddle. So we wanna make sure those are nicely tucked in. And that's gonna keep everything stable while you work uh, your woven patch. So let's get our needle and thread ready. Uh, I'm using the cotton thread, like I said, um, and the needle that they give you has a nice big eye in it, so you can use uh, a couple of different weights of yarn. They suggest using about three feet of yarn for this, but I definitely needed more, so it really depends on the size of your hole. So we're gonna load up our needle and basically what we're creating is a warp, which is vertical threads across the hole. So we're gonna pull, um, pull our thread underneath this little elastic and that's gonna hold our tail. It suggests uh, using about a six inch tail. Uh, so at the end, you can weave it in. And I'm gonna start um, left to right. So I'm going to lay my thread through the first notch on the heddle and I'm going to grab my needle and I'm going to put my needle into the work a little bit um, a little bit lower than the hole because you want to cover the hole with enough of a um, you know enough of an edge around it. So when I come down to the bottom of the work I'm just going to catch a stitch down here just past the hole and then I'm gonna bring my thread back up to the next notch and I'm gonna wrap it around that next notch, keeping my finger uh, holding the threads on the heddle so they don't fall off. And now I'm gonna grab another stitch at the bottom and I'm gonna keep going like this until I've covered the hole completely. So essentially, 
the heddle is acting like a guide to help us keep the threads nice and straight and perpendicular to one another. If any of your threads pop off the notches, uh, you can just use your fingers or the needle to kind of pop it back on. Um, using a cotton thread has less stretch in it than wool, so you may find that wool uh, is easier to use because it will kind of hug those notches a little bit better. But I'm using this because it was a great color match. Okay, so once you get to the end, you wanna count your threads. Um, these threads are called your warp and you want to have an odd number. So I think I had 19 here, so that's good. And I am going to start my weaving going from right to left. So my needle is gonna go over the first thread and under the next thread, over, under, over, under, over, under, like that, all the way to the end. alternating over and under. And when you get to the end, you're going to catch a little stitch on your fabric to anchor it. Then when you go back, you're going to do the opposite. So if you end it on an over, you're gonna start on an under. So each row is going to be opposite from the last one. And it's a really good idea to hold your finger on the uh, heddle uh, to make sure that none of those uh, stitches pop off. I actually turned the whole thing around uh, because I'm right-handed. Um, and to go back from the left side, it's easier for me to uh, work with my right hand. So I just turned the whole thing upside down and I'm working the second row upside down. And when I get to the end there, I'm going to turn it back around and I'm going to catch, push those down a little bit, and I'm gonna catch the fabric on the right side again. And you're gonna keep going back and forth like this until you get to the very end and you can't, uh, can't make any more rows because you're very close to the heddle. Okay, so once you reach the end, you're just gonna pop those stitches off of the heddle. And as you can see, they don't really go anywhere because they're pretty secure with, um, with the weaving that we've done. So we're just gonna take the heddle off and take this elastic off. And just do it gently so you don't um, distort any of your stitches. And I'm just gonna move these tails out of the way. I'm gonna weave those in at the end. And starting at the right side, I'm going to catch a stitch on my fabric and then I'm going to, I'm gonna run it through the loops at the very top. So you can see the loops of where the, the, um, the heddle was holding the threads. So I'm gonna catch some of my knit fabric and I'm gonna catch my loop. And this is gonna secure those loops to your fabric. Basically, I'm just tacking all of it down to secure it.
And there you go, there's your patch. Ready for more wear and tear. We love seeing you guys mending stuff. If it's worth making, it's worth mending. And uh, we'd love it if you tagged us in your mending projects.